so hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover the lab gate started with security command center so first of all open cloud console and cognito window in my case it got signed in automatically in case you need username and password you can refer to the lab instruction now here are the tasks which we need to complete so make sure to have a look on this so now let's start now come back on the cloud console now from here on the search box wait for the cloud console to fully load first in case you are unable to see this, you have to just right click open cloud console incognito window. Now here you have to type security and click on security. Now the page is loading. Meanwhile, in case you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe it and like the video. Here click on finding tab. And finally, we will execute something means we will update something. So now close the unwanted pop up by clicking on cross here. As you can see the unwanted pop-up is closed. Now from here select all time and now now we have to make some changes. So let me see. We did the query, click on edit query. Now move to the lab instruction and select the query, enter it and then click on apply. Now wait for the update to populate. So as you can see finally, as you can see, finally this result has been published. So now we need to click on this. Wait a minute. So now click on three dots, mute options. Wait for it to initiate. So finally, it has been muted now we will have create a mute rule so for that click on again three dots mute option wait a minute mute option it's not working sometimes it takes time to update so wait for some time and we will try again So as you can see finally it's showing manage mute rule now a new window will open where we will create mute rules so first of all now click on create mute rule and we have to enter this id and description now id has been entered now for description you can write mute rule for vpc now for finding query it's the query that is flow logs disabled so now enter it wait for some time and now click on save so finally the logs of the flow logs have been disabled and we have created a dynamic mute rule so finally as you can see the mute rule has been successfully created now let's move forward to the next task now we need to activate the cloud shell so click on the button where i have sold the mouse cursor now the cloud shell will take some time let's check my progress for this task as you can see we got the score now we have to copy this and we will initiate in the cloud shell session so wait for the cloud shell to activate sometimes it takes time so you need to wait for some time finally the cloud shell is active now we have to enter the command which we just copied right now so now we have to enter it now wait basically this command will create networks that is basically a ssd network so now as you can see we got the score without any issue now we have to update the forwarding rules so for that let's move to that step so make sure now we have to close the cloud shell after that we will copy this you can minimize or close it so from here click back button now wait for the settings load click on findings now from here click on edit query enter the query and then apply and now we will be able to see the network which we just created right now so wait for it now copy this also 
and then we have to modify the firewalls so for modifying you can search the name now we need to open the firewall rules page so now search firewall open in new tab finally from here close the unwanted pop-up now from here select the default allow rdp so as you can see it's present here now we have to edit the ip range to this and delete the existing ip range that was 000 so click on edit now from here remove the ip range enter it and then click on save so wait for this to save and then we will update the firewall successfully updated now wait for some time so now we have to visit the scc that is for a new stop and we have to find the same ssh port so just refresh the browser because sometimes it takes time so now we have to search this so copy the name carefully now here we have to search the default allow ssh so for that let me show you how you can search now we need to remove the query here and then click on apply now as you can see wait a minute so as you can see rdp port is ready but we have to search for the ssh port so scroll down a bit as you can see it's ssh here now here open it now scroll down and as you can see we have to delete the ip range and update the firewall which we did already so let me check here also now from here click on edit and then replace it and now enter it now click on save and now as you can see we got full score without any issue and finally we are done with the lab case you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section